Hi everyone, my name is Stu Corbett. I'm your fire inspector for High River Fire Department. Many of you, of you may have met me already in your businesses. The reason for this little video is to introduce you to a new video series I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks, offering you tips, safety tips at home um, and around while we're all working from home. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing. Um, we've actually suspended live inspections for the last several weeks but we're still we're still in business it's just a different kind of business i'm able to do inspections um electronically several of, of you have been sending in uh videos or virtual tours of your place and i'm able to provide what's called a verification of compliance or your approval of your fire inspection for occupancies or new licenses or your annual inspections. So um, if any of you are interested in doing that, please get in contact with me and I'll let you know how to do that in a few minutes. Uh, the series is also going to try and update you on where we are with the fire department. Uh, let me refer to my note here. Um, so where we are, uh, with the current status is, uh, as you can see, I'm working from home. Our chief administration has is trying to protect and, and do as much dis social distancing as possible. So we have Chief Cody Zebedee working out of the town office in an office there. We have um, Deputy Chief Trevor Allen working out of the headquarters still. He's the only one really there. And our administrative assistant is also working from home and a little bit out of the trailer. So we're trying to keep the team split a little bit that way. As far as the fire hall goes, it has been in lockdown. Uh, security has been increased. And I know the crews, uh, the fire hall is always clean anyway, but they've been going on a massive sanitization program, including all our fire trucks. Um, they get they have been sanitized and uh, basically sealed when they go out on a call they come back they get re-sanitized and sealed up again um, it's a lot more work but it's safer for everybody the crews when they do their changeovers for their shifts are now doing electronically passing the information across whereas before we all got together and had a good chit chat uh in the office uh to change over with any information that might need to be passed down that's being done electronically and the crews are uh, following some very strict uh, sanitation procedures when they come into the hall and when they leave. So again, so that they're safe and they can keep servicing you so well as they do. And it also keeps them and their families safe and hopefully not uh, contracting the COVID-19. Um, some of the upcoming additions we want to offer uh, will be safety tips on things like um, uh, where's my list? I don't have it handy with me, so I'll do it off the top of my head. Um, kitchen kitchen tips, tips for kids around the house, uh, some fun things to do, maybe some talk about some interesting websites I've been able to pick up on I can share with you. Um, fireplace safety, house maintenance. Like I said, most of us are in our homes and we're pretty well there 24 hours, so it's, it's good to make sure that... Um, uh, we're performing safe practices and everybody's everybody's healthy and everybody's safe. I would like to offer that I am available to answer any questions or inquiries. I can't necessarily get out to do an inspection of your business or your residence unless it's a it's a really serious dire emergency. And then in that case, we might you might even want to make it a 911 call uh, if you're concerned about something like carbon monoxide or people are feeling ill, then definitely it warrants a 911 call. But I can be reached at uh, at my, I'll give you my phone number as well as uh, my email address. And there are general fire um, email is fire at highriver.ca, real simple. And I'm just scorbitt at highriver.ca. And my telephone number, 403-336. 5903. Also, I invite you to check out our website if you haven't already done that. The easiest way to find it is to Google High River Fire Department. And then uh, usually in the box on, on the Google side uh, where it lists a couple of uh, the details of where we work is uh, um, the website link. And that's the easiest way to get to it. Um, or it's highriver.ca forward slash fire dash department. And uh, that will get you there as well. 
some interesting stuff on there you might want to check out. At least for me, there's a, a, a whole section there, link on safety and prevention, including everything about uh, smoke alarms, uh, home heating safety, uh, if you're getting out for walks around the river and stuff, some ice safety tips, tips for the home, tips for the office, a wealth of information in that little website. So uh, I invite you to check that out. We also have a new YouTube channel. Uh, I found it by going High River Channels, High River Fire Department. And I know uh, Chief Zebedee has already put one, uh, one um, little video out there. Oh, yeah, one of the other things that we're going to be doing, I know the crews are working on a virtual tour of the fire hall, so we'll try and include that coming up as well. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, I'd be happy to hear from you. This went on a little bit longer than I wanted, but I wanted to get you started. My next videos are likely going to be about one or two minutes long, and I hope this situation doesn't go on too long because I might run out of things to talk about, and I'd like to keep you entertained and excited and safe. Anyway, stay well. Stay safe, stay home, and I'll talk to you in a couple days.